Hold on a minute, are we truly suggesting that the cutting-edge marvels of AI-driven humanoid robots, these meticulously engineered wonders designed to mimic our very form and function, are destined to become mere purveyors of ribaldries and japes? What a notion! It's like equipping a Formula One race car with training wheels. Isn't it? Or perhaps, designing a grand symphony orchestra just to play a kazoo solo. The very thought seems to misapprehend the fundamental purpose, the profound ambition, and yes, the often sobering realities behind their genesis. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Consider, if you will, the sheer computational horsepower and the intricate mechanical ballet required for a humanoid robot to even take a single stable step without tumbling over like a newborn giraffe. Are we talking about a simple automaton responding to knock-knock jokes? No, we are dissecting complex algorithms, often rooted in reinforcement learning, where robots like Boston Dynamics Atlas or Agility Robotics Digit learn to navigate uneven terrain, climb stairs, and even perform acrobatic feats. They aren't just programmed with how to do, but are increasingly given what to do. And then they figure out the how through countless virtual trials, a process that is less about comedic timing and more about robust, real-world functionality. Just recently, Boston Dynamics announced a partnership with the Robotics and AI Institute to further advance Atlas's capabilities through reinforcement learning, focusing on dynamic and generalizable behaviors for mobile manipulation, a far cry from practicing stand-up routines. And what about the delicate dance of perception? How do these metallic maestros see the world? It's not with mere eyeballs, but with an array of sensors, 3D cameras, LiDAR, and even tactile sensors that allow them to feel their environment. Sanctuary AI, for instance, has recently integrated new tactile sensors into its Phoenix general purpose robots, enabling them to perform highly dexterous, touch-driven tasks with remarkable precision, a capability essential for handling delicate objects, not for delivering a punchline with a clumsy gesture. These sensors feed reams of data into sophisticated neural networks, allowing the robot to understand its surroundings, identify objects, and plan its movements. This isn't just about recognizing a smirk. It's about discerning the subtle differences between a fragile teacup and a sturdy wrench, a task demanding immense data processing and advanced computer vision, not a keen sense of humor. Furthermore, the very essence of an AI-driven robot partner particularly in the realm of companionship or assistance, isn't about fleeting amusement. Are we forgetting the burgeoning demographic challenges facing societies globally, the increasing isolation many experience, or the escalating demand for care in an aging world? Companies are pouring billions into these ventures not for the next viral meme, but for addressing fundamental societal needs. Think of the potential in elder care, where a humanoid robot could provide medication reminders, assist with mobility, or offer continuous monitoring, easing the burden on human caregivers and enhancing the quality of life for seniors. Is a robot designed to help someone safely navigate their home or to offer genuine, empathetic interaction, simulated though it may be, truly best served by a repertoire of off-color anecdotes? Indeed, the ethical considerations alone would surely give any serious developer pause, wouldn't they? The rise of AI companions already sparks debates about emotional manipulation and dependency, privacy and data security, and the reinforcement of societal biases. If these advanced intelligences are to be trusted companions, must they not embody qualities of reliability, trustworthiness, and ethical conduct? rather than flippancy. The very nature of their interaction with vulnerable individuals necessitates a design philosophy centered on safety, empathy, and respect, not on eliciting cheap laughs. When Figure AI, a prominent player in the humanoid space, 
talks about their Figure 02 robots demonstrating autonomous capabilities with their Helix AI. They're discussing applications in logistics and manufacturing, not comedy clubs. They are scaling to produce thousands of units for tasks like package sorting, with a focus on human-level dexterity and speed, a testament to their serious industrial intent. Moreover, the technical challenges in achieving truly nuanced human-robot interaction are colossal. Natural language processing, NLP, and generative AI are making strides, allowing robots to understand and generate human-like speech. But is the goal merely to generate contextually irrelevant quips? Or is it to enable meaningful conversations, to process complex queries, to learn individual preferences, and to adapt their responses in ways that are genuinely helpful and reassuring. Conversational AI, as Intel highlights, is about taking human-robot interaction to the next level, fostering more human-like exchanges, not just crafting clever one-liners. This involves understanding sentiment, intent, and even nuanced human emotions, skills that are far more aligned with support and assistance than with crude entertainment. So, are we to believe that the immense investment, the years of meticulous research, the tireless work of engineers, roboticists, and AI ethicists from institutions like Google DeepMind, Boston Dynamics, Sanctuary AI, Figure AI, and Agility Robotics all culminates in a device designed for juvenile amusement? Is the grand vision of humanoid robots capable of performing dangerous tasks, assisting in disaster relief, augmenting our workforce, or providing genuine companionship? to be reduced to a silicon stand-up comedian? It seems an almost tragic underestimation of the profound potential these machines represent. Doesn't it? Their making is driven by a serious purpose. To augment humanity, to solve problems, and to enrich our lives. Not to be a repository of ribald stories. To suggest otherwise is to miss the forest for the trees. A technological marvel for a mere party trick. The future of AI-driven robot partners is not about laughter, but about labor, companionship, and a deeper, more meaningful integration into the fabric of our evolving society. So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Udenslet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.